Hello everyone and welcome to Microsoft Flight Simulator. It gives me great pleasure to introduce yet another release by Burning Blue Design. Here, as you can see, I parked in the place that is most appropriate to me next to a load of beautiful motorbikes. I have to say modelled very, very well. We're going to have a look at that in more detail at the moment. This is actually by um, Mike, who is one of the lead designers at Burning Blue Design. And this has been his baby now for a while, and he has put so much time and effort into this airfield. I think you'll agree straight away, this looks absolutely stunning. But first of all, what I thought we could do is actually go for a bit of a drone uh, flight, I guess. <laughs> if we can do this properly, there we go. So we can have a look at this scenery in 2D mode in all of its glory and ultra detail and then we're going to go for a spin in VR of course to see what it feels like uh, in the HP Refurb G2 for a couple of circuits. So as I pan around here let's just get a little bit of a shot here because I want to basically go through a few features of this airfield that I haven't really seen much in fact you probably noticed it already and that is dynamic smoke that is uh, rendered here very nice from the cafe I believe it's a very busy place this, I love all the sound effects, courtesy of uh, the default sim I think. Now we'll just, uh, also by the way this, the turn signal here is also dynamically modelled. There's quite a number of different things here that do change including the signs as well. And the assets, let me just check how much assets are in this, 110 custom 3D objects are scattered all around this beautiful airfield here. So, Burning Blue Design have just been really upping the quality recently. And, you know, the competition is fierce. And for £11, it doesn't get any more better value than this. Right, let me just slow down the drone camera a moment. So I can just, uh, here we go, slow it right down. So we can just get right underneath, close and personal to all these signs. Now, something I always like to, to look at when I'm uh, you know, reviewing any airport is the signs and the texture work and you can see here look at the brickwork there that is insane the signs and everything are incredibly sharp let me just put my v-sync on actually let's, let's just actually by the way just to show you everything is ultra as you can see here but I just need to put my v-sync on here there we go we won't get any tearing now um, Oh my god. Look at that. There is no texture that is fuzzy or blurry. I mean, you can read all that absolutely no problem. I'll let you do that at your leisure. But this is home to the Spitfire Club actually as well. I don't know much about Popham to be honest. I've never been there in real life. I do know though that I have actually uh, I bought the Orbex version in X-Plane. So it'd be interesting to see. In fact, you know what? I'm not. I'm not going to mess around here, guys. This is a lot better than the uh, Orbex version, which was superb already. Simply because the all the textures and signs, and I can even go inside here. Look at this. This is the cafe, I presume, and it's just exquisitely modelled, like insane detail levels. Every time they release a new airfield. That just the quality just gets better and better. Look at that look. Signs and just beautiful assets and textures, models. It feels like the real place. Let's just have a look at these uh, motorcycles over here. So you can see there we've got the classic car club, the beautiful mini, we've got a Porsche, a camper van, MX-5, Nice uh, car actually. And look at this, we've got some Vespers and Kawasaki's as well. And by the way, they are, I mean, if you could go really close to them, they don't lose their quality at all. That could be a photograph. Now, Burning Blue Design, if you are listening to this, which I presume you are, <laughs> look at that. And you know, feel free to uh, use my FJR 1300 in any of your up and coming airports I would love to be able to land in my Piper Arrow and then basically jump aboard my FJR and head home so if you need any uh, photographs or anything 
please let me know and I would be very honoured to have my motorcycle in one of your airfields. Look at that. I'm taking screenshots guys as I'm going along here. And over here we've got a chipmunk. I think I've seen that very chipmunk at White Waltham which has also just been released. I can't keep up guys. Let's have a look in this hangar here. Now of course I can't show you. Oh wow look at that one. That needs a bit of a clean there. But I can't show you all of the detail here because there's so much to see there really is and i can't possibly show you all of it as i pan around even inside this hangar there's just so much to look at but what we'll do is we'll just zoom out of here a minute and i just want to sort of just go straight up into the air just to show you how well the airfield you know kind of blends into its surroundings and there's this road here and also these just tons of assets all around the airport perimeter and it's quite exhilarating as you fly into this airfield in VR because there's quite a slope to this uh, grass strip and uh, in fact there's even a um, petrol station at the other end there and as you're sort of right on finals there's not a lot of room actually so it is very exhilarating we've got this uh, sort of water tower here and also it's very interesting I just noticed this as well as I was doing some circuits Look at this. Sorry guys, I'm trying to be uh, fairly careful with the drone. After takeoff, continue straight ahead in the climb out, then turn left at the intersection with runway 21. You see, it's all there. It's amazing. And if you go even further out to the boundary, there's um, an interesting looking uh, set of buildings here. I'm not quite sure what this is, but that is, as you can see, modeled to perfection. Look at that. That is incredible. And it's those sort of visual cues that are very, very useful as you're doing your circuits. But we'll just get back to the airfield here because I want to show you the modelling of even the uh, the petrol station. In fact, there's two here actually. But we'll just slow the, the drone camera down again one more time. A very busy road here. Look at this. You can even see how much the petrol prices are. So if any of you guys are watching this, say from America, this is the kind of uh, petrol prices we have to put up with. These are £1.21, which is actually pretty good. And uh, regular unleaded, £1.19. Absolute rip-off. And we've got a Starbucks here as well. Oh my goodness me. I love it. I love the attention to detail here. So again, another petrol station here. Prices are a little bit more expensive this side. SOR a little bit more expensive. It's a little bike there as well. <laughs> it's incredible. I mean, seriously. I mean, we've got some tractors there in nearby fields. We've got a track here that's been modelled really well. And a nearby golf course. There's just so many POIs, guys. Absolutely bristling with detail. Now before we jump into VR, I'll just give you a little bit of information about Popham Airfield. It does welcome over 10,000 visitors annually um, and is famous for hosting many events including the Microlite Trade Fair and of course the motorcycle meets and classic cars and vintage aircraft fly-ins in the summer. But it's also known for its C-47 flight training simulator so i'd love to have a go on that that would be pretty damn cool but what i love about this airfield is the just crazy obsessive attention to detail that burning blue design is known for they don't do things by halves and as i say there's over 110 custom 3d objects thousands of carefully placed stock assets every cone car and sign is definitely modeled and the high resolution color corrected ground textures around the perimeter is also even better than the stock BIM, uh, Bing maps of the ortho imagery. And all of this, including all the tractors and the signs which are super, super crisp, give you that impression of being there. And talking of the immersion of being there, we're now going to jump into VR and take the Piper Arrow for a bit of a spin around this uh, beautiful exquisite and charming airfield i think it's time guys to go into vr so i'll see you in a moment there we go then i was actually going to do this review in the piper warrior but um 
this is kind of unplanned. You're getting this review simply because I'm so impressed with this scenery straight away and I just had to get it out. I just had to show you this straight away. I think you can understand why, guys. Look at this. Stunning. And you know what? If you think back to X-Plane 11, an airfield of this quality would easily be about 18 pounds, 20 pounds. But we seem to be getting better quality for a lot less money these days. Look at that. Oh, it's so gorgeous. In fact, I think the wind is favoring 2-1 at the moment, but I'm going to uh I'm going to go for this for the other runway simply because it's you have to go right over that uh, petrol station and the track there. And it honestly feels amazing because you have to come in so low, of course. Now, this is a uh, real world weather at the moment. There are a few showers around. But yeah, at 11 pounds. It is an absolute steal. It really is. Right, we'll get set up for a touch and go here. And you really have to be on the ball uh, with this airfield because the runway is very, very short. I'm not sure if you do touch and goes in an arrow in real life, to be honest. <laughs> and you have to really pay attention to all the surrounding uh, terrain. It's quite hilly as well. Okay, so we're about to turn finals now. And as I said before at the start of this video, this is Mike's special airport that he's been working on on his own for quite some time and it shows that it's been a labour of love for him. It really does show. And look at the weather here, it really is closing in. I often say actually, in fact I haven't said this on camera before, on camera, you know what I mean, on video. <laughs> but. Some of the joys of this sim is doing circuits and practicing those touch and goes. And it's airfields like this that really make it an absolute joy. Look at the look at that look as I'm going over the petrol station. What an amazing spot to uh, do a bit of plane spotting. And there's quite it really just drop off there. That's it's a challenging one. And I've oh I uh, I was thinking too fast there. Trying to uh correct myself and look at the slope here on this runway okay don't over boost don't over boost and we're back up it's challenging it really is but so worth it and look at that the rain is coming in but back at the airfield there and we'll just do a touch and go yeah, we'll do a circuit to the left now. Now, did you notice there the road, the markings of the road? And you have to really notice it, like me. I love all those little details. It's super crisp and sharp because the ortho imagery has been enhanced all around this area. Yeah, I can really see that the weather is starting to change here, which makes it even more of a pleasure to fly around. Right, so coming in for our second touch and go here at Popham Airfield, home of the Spitfire Flying Club. God, imagine that. Now, I've never been here in real life, but I would love to visit this place. Park up next to the bikes, have a bacon, sarni, a cup of tea and watch all of the airport activity. What we'll do is, after this one, we'll come in on runway T1 and hopefully we'll be able to land before this shower hits. <laughs> See if I can make a better job of this one. Skimming the trees here. Look at all the signs. So realistic. Skimming that to tree. This feels better than the last one. There I do it. Go outside. butter i'm happy with that right let's get back up for one more
That literally is like a photograph, especially in VR. So here we go. Yeah, this is a little bit easier from this side. Judging by that windsock, actually, the wind has changed. Nice tractor there. There's just so much to see. Oh, a bit of a bounce. <laughs> and there we have it, guys. That is my first look at Burning Blue Design Popham Airfield. Another winner. All the links will be in the description below. Seriously, £11. You can't get any better value for money than that, in my opinion. Take care, guys, and I'll see you again on the next one. Bye-bye for now.